I'm starting to wonder which liberals I actually like more. The Brahmin liberals that I've mentioned before, or progressive working class liberals. It's pretty hard to tell. For starters, a lot of Brahmins are sometimes against feminism. They dislike it. They think it's disgusting, but they don't really like patriarchy, so that turns me off. Uh, I am concerned about the GMO issue at the same time. I hate the way that they're and the vaccine issue. I'm kind of concerned about that, but. They seem to be total Ludites, and that turns me off. They're Ludites for the sake of being Ludites, and that has its disadvantages. We really do need technological advancement, and a lot of the solutions to these issues, vaccinations, and things like that, are getting away getting around the free market issue and sort of instituting little fascism here and there just to properly experiment and kind of close the environment a little bit so that you can have more scientific understanding of how these issues like GMOs start to work out because it's eventually going to be something besides food You're going to be able to affect your own DNA with it, so there's a lot to consider, a lot to work with. Cloning is going to become more complex. Hipsters also, Brahmin liberals, they love the gay issue. I already know that gay marriage kind of does affect the family, affects a lot of things. It's a pretty weird sacred cow, but they also like waiters for some reason. Waiters is slowly becoming a bigger issue than fucking gay issue. Eventually next year we're gonna deal with crappy rap ballads about how waiters need twenty dollar tips for everything. Or one hundred to two hundred dollar tips. I mean they love waiters more than they love gay people. It's actually kind of funny. And you get the progressives with the race dichotomies, love Judaism, hate nationalism of any kind, and they also hate Zionism. What they are are the progressive wannabe worker classes. And it's really cool that they diss on the hipster Brahmin tards, the university tards, the gentrify but don't ever actually do anything with that tards. I think that's kind of cool, but at the same time, they're fucked up in their own way. I mean, the way they perceive the war, economics, a lot of these things, it's pretty much terrible. They're cosmopolitan, they're individualist to the core on certain issues, and they're really uneducated, falsifiable, and retarded. We need some legit form of nationalism. The most nationalistic they can ever get is civic nationalism. And civic nationalism is trash. All right, they want us to learn. They want everyone to learn language, and they want everyone to absorb some of the culture, the useful ones that is. But that's about it. Other than that. They don't really care about the ethnic parts. In fact, they consider that very hateful. Being racially hateful. White privilege, that's the original sin, right? 
and yeah, that hardcore Christianity don't like that stuff. A Brahmin liberal can like that because they can turn Christ into a symbol of love, of tolerance, of fruity stuff. So even if they reject 95% of the Bible, they'll like the quotes in red. Alright, this is kind of me making a decision by the time the six minute mark kicks in. Who are the ones I'm going to favor? I'd say I probably would go for the latter ones, but I'll have to totally destroy the racial narrative. Actually, this whole question is dumb. Since, in all honesty, both are kind of shit. So this is Mr. Waka7 saying, I'm sorry I wasted your time, but this is the shortest video I've made in a while, so I didn't waste a lot of it. Take care.